guys akshay here from gadget diary and finally nokia has unveiled a new smartphone nokia 2 and it was launched globally in india but surprisingly the indian pricing was not released they announced the price as 99 euros so we expect it to be priced somewhat around 7000 indian rupees in this video we are going to share our first impression and a quick hands on overview of the smartphone so this is how nokia 2 smartphone looks like it has plastic plus metal construction you get a metal frame on this device it does not feel heavy even though it comes with a 4100 mAh battery you get Nokia branding in the front along with a 5 megapixel front camera then you have this 5 inch LTPS display which looks really nice the color appears to be punchy it has good viewing angles great contrast levels and we don't have any complaints as far as the display is concerned on the back you get an 8 megapixel camera along with this Nokia branding you can open the back panel we'll do that in a minute then you have a micro USB port on the bottom side on the top you get a 3.5 mm audio jack secondary mic for noise cancellation and some antenna bands if you open the back panel you will find that you get three dedicated sim card slots well, two are actually sim card slots the third one is a micro sd card slot and you get this 4100 mAh battery which cannot be removed from the smartphone talking about the hardware and the software part the phone is being powered by a snapdragon 212 processor and this is the first smartphone to run on this processor which is an entry level processor you get 1 GB of RAM and 8 GB of storage on this device and you get Android 7.1.1 out of the box company has promised that this device will be getting Oreo update so in terms of software you are getting the lost latest software and this is the pure Android experience but when it comes to RAM and the storage it is on the lower side it has just 1 GB of RAM so we don't expect it to be a heavy multitasking smartphone you can run basic applications or do basic multitasking but don't expect it to do heavy multitasking or run high-end games because 212 is an entry-level processor and it is being limited by 1 GB of RAM also storage is on the lower side we expect at least 16 GB storage on a smartphone which will be available at around 7000 Indian uh, rupees coming to the camera part it has an 8 megapixel back camera and a 5 megapixel front camera and this is the camera interface unfortunately the camera does not support full SD video recording the maximum resolution it supports is 720p both the front and the back camera can record 720p video but there was no option to record 1080p videos and as mentioned it's an 8 and a 5 megapixel camera combination so here are some sample images which we have captured from the front and the back camera of Nokia 2 smartphone and you can see for a 5 megapixel front camera the camera seems to work fine and we were in a metro while taking these images so some of them uh, did uh, came out to be slightly shaky but the colors are nice and the overall details is decent enough for a smartphone at this price segment the back camera works well it captures good amount of details and quality you can see the details are good the color reproduction is also nice in these images some more samples and uh, talking about other features the device does support google assistant feature which i guess is uh, the first smartphone in this particular price segment uh, which will come with this feature out of the box and the main feature of this device is that 4100 mAh battery which will give you two days of battery backup so if you're someone who is looking for a basic phone with big battery and good display this might be a decent option but if you are someone who is looking for great value for money or more performance oriented smartphone you do have better options in the market which offers you better snapdragon processors higher ram and more storage but this was just our initial opinion we will be doing a review very soon so stay tuned and thanks for watching